and you, you know, and 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 thinking about you know, and, and thinking about because I was thinking a lot about that all week, and I was thinking about getting on the show and talking to you about that, and you know, wanting to throw my perspective, you know, as a Michigan as a Michigan kid growing mm-hmm. up in Michigan, and and having you know somebody you know having the opportunity to go to South Florida, go to school down there, you know, if I'm you know if I've got offers from you know Central Michigan and I think I said Idaho. Um, mm-hmm. You know, or or and South Florida. You know, South Florida is going to be incredibly tempting. It's it's warm. There's beautiful women. There's lots to do. Then you know you you know I can still go to a hockey game. I can go to a baseball game. I can go out hang out on the town. You know, and you're and, playing, in a pro <laughs> and you're playing in a pro stadium. You pro know, stadium. getting chance to you know. Um, and and the, to me, to me, I think that it's a missed opportunity for South Florida, relying solely on on Florida students. I, I understand, you know, how, and, and I understand that they don't have the recruiting budget of a Michigan, of a Florida, of an Ohio state. You know, I understand that, but how much is a, how much is a couple of plane tickets to fly out the head coach and, and the, and the, and the program director, the AD or out there yeah. out to, you know, Nebraska and, and, you know, Memphis, you know, you know, or, or Chattanooga to come up here and say, you know, we have a great program. We, we're really excited about what we're doing. We're building for the future. We, we really want you to come down and we'll get you, you know, we'll get you acclimated to South Florida. It's really exciting down here. There's all this stuff to do. There's all these people to meet. You know, you're in a hub of where things are happening and things are, you know, you come and be seen. You're seen and be and you know, to, to be seen. To see and be seen, you know, we can really make a difference in your life, and, and you can make a difference in our program. And 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 thinking outside the box, thinking right. okay, obviously what we're doing now by recruiting Florida heavily is not working. You know, and right. and what happens if you can steal a four a four star offensive lineman from North Dakota? You know, how much does what does that do to your program? How does that change your program? Because now you, if you get a left tackle from 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 North Dakota to come down. Now you got the backside is sealed off. You you know you yeah. can you now you can take more chances. You know okay you know and then and and then may, you know when they see that and you know he's talking to his friends who are talking to their friends or you know this this Florida program it's exciting it's fun they're cool and we're gonna play in a we're gonna play in a pro stadium and and then you know. Then you can go to your fan base and you say, "Hey, we're really trying to make this program better. You know, come out, support us. We're getting these players in from other places. We're we're working to get players. You know, maybe you can't recruit in Texas. Maybe you can't recruit in Alabama or Georgia because you know those kids are going to want to go to those places. Right. So you go to you you recruit in places that may not be a hotbed of NFL right. talent, but but you're right. not you're not you know." You're understanding your South Florida. Okay, we're not really going to send players to the NFL. We're we're the South Florida Bulls, so we're not necessarily going to send players to the NFL. But what we're this year, next year, but what about ten years from now? What about five years from now? You know, if you're not thinking about okay, if we're 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 building for 2022 to be a good program in 22, to be a better program in 24, to be a to be a great program in 26. You know, having that long plan. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, I mean, but, it, you know, it's all going to come down to, you know, um, you know, the press conference happened on Monday. And they when they fired Charlie Strong on Sunday, uh, that broke at five o'clock, I think, my time. Um, and Michael Kelly, you know, they, the one question that I thought was interesting that they asked him was um, when Charlie Strong was hired here, he was promised the indoor football facility that USF is trying to get money for and build. Uh, being that, again, we play in the heat, they're trying to get them an indoor facility so they can play all year round so that we're not out in the heat. But see, to me, I think that's an advantage, especially I thought that was going to be a big advantage for the Wisconsin game. Unfortunately, that didn't happen the way we all thought it was going to happen. But um, that was the answer that Michael Kelly gave is, hey, I wasn't here. He said, and let me say this to you right now, had I been here, we would have tried to make that more of a reality 
And unfortunately, you know, it didn't happen because of the funding and stuff like that. I do believe, in my opinion, that he's the right guy to go get a new head coach. I hope it's not Willie Taggart, even though I know I've been hearing through rumblings down here that that's who the front runner is right now to come back. And nothing against Willie Taggart, um, but he has not been a good coach wherever he goes. I mean, he, he has he went to Oregon for a year. They had a losing season. He had two losing seasons in Florida State before he got fired. And supposedly, and what you were just referring to, he supposedly recruits the state of Florida very well. Ask, ask the Seminole fans how that went for two seasons. Because I didn't see anything that well at Florida State. And I hate them and- because I'm a Gator fan. So I hate them. So it was, I, I was thrilled to death to see Dan Mullen go 10-2 and two in both his seasons. And again, we have a bowl game. I don't know who we're going to play. But thank God it's not us. To to see to see the Knowles suffer is good for me. <laughs> but <laughs> I just you know I don't you know I don't see what the point would be to bring him back. I don't get the and, point and as, to me. And as we've already as we've already discussed, you know, recruiting in Florida is not your problem. You right. have plenty of Florida kids coming in. You know, yes. ninety one of your ninety one of your players, and I don't know how many players they have on the roster, but you know, if you have hundred and ten players, that's ninety percent. Correct. Came from the 90, you know, recruiting in Florida isn't the issue. It's yeah. recruiting good players from Florida. And I'm not saying not to take anything away from the players, you know, that they're saying they're bad or they're in, or anything. I, I honestly thought they were gonna be much better than they were. And yeah. it was just it was just depressing to watch week in and week out this team that you know you thought go could go eight and four you know contend contend for the uh, was that the A A A A C A A C or conference That's right. yeah title could have you know and, and could have been in could have been in contention with with Florida or Florida Central and Memphis to be just so so terrible to yeah. be so bad so and, and very dis- disappointingly bad. Well, see was, and there. And there's the there's the point you bring up, buddy. You know, the fact of the matter is that, you know, on Saturday or not Saturday, Friday, last Friday, I could change the channel. When yeah. I'm there as a as a press member, I can't leave the game. So I have to sit right. there and watch them and, get killed. And I sat there this year and watched them get killed by Wisconsin. I watched them get yeah. killed by SNU, even though the score was forty two twenty one or whatever the heck the final score was in that game. And, you know, the two games that I think were more disappointing were the Temple game that was on ESPN was and then the Cincinnati game where they led the entire freaking game until the last play of the game where they let Cincinnati get in field goal range and then they win the game. And speaking of that, who's playing in the AAC title game this weekend? Oh, that's right, Cincinnati, who beat them, who then lost to Memphis last week, and it's a rematch of that game yeah. coming up this Saturday. So there you go. And right now, the bad the bad part, and the USF fans are going to hate this, but UCF is so far ahead of us. And, the, and mm. that's like sticking, you know, rubbing salt in the wounds. Because, again, that's your rival. You don't want to hear that they're ahead of you. You don't want to hear that. It's just that's the way it is. You don't want to hear, but they are. They have the facility. They have that crazy stadium in Orlando that – Literally, they call it the bounce house. You know why they call it the bounce house? Because the stadium literally bounces. That stadium was not built properly. They bounce in that freaking stadium in Orlando. I had someone today at work who's a big Knights fan give it to me. Oh, I told you. I said, yeah, I don't want to talk about it because I know the whole game. I watched it or watched a portion of it and changed the channel because I didn't want to watch it. But, you know, I – it's gonna. What's gonna happen now is, but whoever they hire as a new head coach, I like what you were saying. Is looking forward into the future, you know, eight nine years from now, and saying, okay, here's where we want to be in 2026. Let's try to get this program built, rebuilt now. So whoever the coach is, has to has to have that mindset. Is hey, we don't have we don't have any issues recruiting in this state. We need to go and try to get some three star, maybe a four star recruit in another state to come down here to get 
this thing going. And we can't stop the run on defense. That's been a problem the last two seasons. Our offense was absolutely horrible this year under Kerwin Bell, which I was shocked because I was at the spring game this year, and it looked good from where I was sitting. Yeah. And everyone, everyone, Joey Knight, who covers the, the Bulls for the Tampa Bay Times, a local newspaper that I read every day, he mentioned it. They all mentioned it. Um, Rock Riley, who's a big guy, sports guy down here in Tampa, I had him on my show, and I asked him about the Bulls. He said they were – what we saw at the spring game, we should be it, – it, it, this is going to be a good season. Well, I don't know where that went because when you finish four and eight and no bowl game and the last three games of the season or the last two games of the season, you get blown out by Memphis and UCF, you're far, far away from being to where this school was two years ago when they were 10 and 2. So, Let alone you 15 know, when you were the number two team in the country. Yeah. Well, and then, you know, you bring that up because then Jim Levitt was our head coach. He can't come back because of some scrutiny or whatever. I went on USF message boards on Facebook. Oh, I love how people want Levitt back. He can't come back here. Well, you know what? There's a new president. There's a new AD. Don't say he can't come back. We will find out if he can sign. If he can't sign, then that's, that's the way it is. We have a new president and a new AD. Things can change. Papers can disappear and, <laughs> if they want him back. So and my thing, is, my thing is, is trying. You know, it's if you want to build for the future, you can't try to relive the glory days. You know, bringing correct. back Willie Taggart or bringing back somebody from the past is is a mistake. If we're if we're moving forward, you know, we're saying, well, this was a lost season. Oh well. You know, it's depressing, it's disappointing, we'll have a drink, and we'll be back in, in April ready to go, and we're mm-hmm. going to build for the future. You can't build for the future by by digging up a fossil from the past or, right. or bringing back yesterday's garbage. A guy you fired because he wasn't getting the job done, or, well, I don't know if they fired him necessarily, but he went out to Oregon, sunk up the joint yeah. in Oregon, went to U.S. He went to um, Florida State, sunk up the joint there, oh, Let's go get this guy that's, that that clearly can't can't get it done. And we'll bring him. We'll bring him back in. To me, I think the best thing for them to do would be to go find a young, hot prospect, a a, college, a high school football coach with five or six years of experience who's won a nas- who's won a state title, maybe even won a national title, and, and bring him in and and groom him and give him give him carte blanche to do pretty whatever he needs to do within the bounds of the law and reason to build the program back to where it, where you want to be. You know, let's right. let's start by winning five games next year, okay? In 2021, we're going to work on winning five winnable games. We'll, we know, we'll win the Temple game. We'll win the Memphis game because Memphis will probably be on the on the downturn. This is a they good year. The next year could – they, <laughs> they won't beat the Gators so, in 2021. <laughs> right, right, okay. So we well, okay. That's the thing. Let's let's. We're not gonna we're not gonna beat the Gators, but we're gonna give them a ball game. We're gonna there come, you. we're gonna come out. There we're gonna play go. our guts out. We're gonna give them a right. game. We're gonna show the world that USF will not go down without a fight. We're gonna start there, and then we're gonna go. Let me let me look at the schedule real quick. Um, I'll pull it up. Twenty. Uh, okay. Because because it's all about you know if you're gonna build the program, you gotta you gotta build you gotta if you're gonna build the program, you've gotta go in with a winning mindset. Well, like, and I, okay. and I, know, so, I know, Bud, they start this upcoming season in Texas against the Longhorns. Right. right. Okay, so, so we're so – we got a chance. We, you know, if we build – if we if we do what we're supposed to do this this off offseason uh, – here we go, 2021. Um, okay, so this is your schedule for 2021. Um, so they – um, let's say, and they're starting at UNC this year. And uh, okay, that's the wrong. That's next. I mean, 2020 is the year I need. Okay, yeah, 2020. Yeah, they started. I, I clicked on. I I clicked on the wrong. I, I, that's my bad. So they start in Texas. They uh, okay. it'll probably be at Jerry World. It'll probably be at Jerry World. Um, you know, it's probably going to be a Saturday. It's, it's scheduled as a Saturday game. Probably be a Saturday night game. You know, it could be a Friday night game. It'll probably be at Jerry World. 
Okay, so we're not going to win that game. Well, it's not a game where we're not 